gaming desktop versus gaming laptop which one do you want which one's the better value hopefully this video will definitely inform you and hopefully make you or inform you enough to help you make a better purchase and be able to get exactly what you're looking for for the best price so let's jump right into it with a tweet that I sent out a day ago and it was a poll if you guys are new here make sure to check down in the description follow me on Twitter because I do these things all the time always talking to you guys and basically it was a poll for gaming uh, I'm just gonna tell you the results and tell you what it was so gaming PC desktop got 67% of votes gaming PC laptop got 70% votes and just as a kicker uh, MacBook Pro laptop got 8% and iMac which is a desktop got eight percent so let's hop right into it with gaming desktops so i'm going to tell you guys pros and cons and then we'll move on to what i think that is the best and hopefully you guys will get an answer from this so gaming desktops upgradability that's the big word that's what makes a gaming desktop so special is that you can upgrade it and even if you don't if you've never even taken apart a computer before and know anything about the inside the beauty of it is that it's so easy it's so easy to pop in another graphics card or more ram you just gotta look up a youtube video and chances are if you're watching this right now you know how to use youtube so gaming desktop pro a big pro for it is the cost now i know i know a lot of people are like the cost it's thousands of dollars not really you can get a great desktop that will be able to play new games for around a thousand dollars and i would suggest spending a little bit more up to about a thousand five hundred and let's just say you have a goal of spending two thousand dollars and i'll tell you why here in a second if you're on this video so I would spend about a thousand five hundred on a desktop because you will be able to play brand new games and especially especially with the GTX 1070 and the 1080 coming out I think the 1080 is out and the 1070 is following up I think it releases this month sometime actually and I think I might be copying a 1070 for my desktop so rant or tangent not even a rant so you can upgrade desktops really easily so let's say you start out and you have a goal or a budget of like 800 bucks and that gets you an okay computer you could play custom zombies you could play black ops 3 on medium or low or it'd probably be medium for that price and you're you're settling that's all you had right now but you can keep on working you're, you're gonna keep going you're gonna keep making money and let's say that eight gigabytes of memory that you installed just isn't cutting it anymore guess what you can get two more sticks of eight gigabytes depending on if you got two sticks of eight gigabytes to be or two sticks of four gigabytes I said eight in the beginning um, or you could just rip those out and put 32 in. You could do whatever you want and upgrade whatever you want. Let's say you start out with a $100 graphics card or a $200 graphics card. You can take that out and put a new one in whenever you get a new one. So you can always upgrade a gaming desktop. And it's easy. Very easy. And the word easy is because you just got to remove a panel, unplug something, plug it back in, and you're done. That's about it. That's as far as it goes for upgrading. And it's it. I know it's very like scary to mess inside of a computer, especially if you've never even seen the inside of a computer. But like I said, YouTube videos. So another big pro with a gaming desktop is they're going to last you a lot longer and you're going to get more power for the price. You're going to be able to you know play it for a lot longer than you would for a laptop it's gonna last a lot longer you're gonna really enjoy a gaming desktop trust me a lot more than a gaming laptop so <clears throat> let's go into the gaming laptops and we'll start out with some pros again pro you can take it to your friend's house and all you have to do is unplug the power brick and then plug it back in over there. Another pro is that it comes with a screen. You don't have to worry about buying a monitor. You don't have to worry about buying a uh, keyboard. You don't have to worry about buying a mouse because it has a trackpad. But as most gamers would agree with me on this, you're going to want to buy a mouse. There's no way you can play games on trackpad and be good unless you're just playing like minecraft or something and even at that point it's just ridiculous so there's that now there are a few other pros you know you get lights it's pretty cool but let's get into the cons there's more cons of a gaming laptop than there are pros of gaming laptops so the first con is 
All right, so I left one very, very important con out, and it is battery life. The battery life of a laptop or a gaming laptop is horrible. It is the worst thing ever. You get about an hour's worth of actual battery life gaming, and you can't do anything with that. You have to be plugged in to really game and get into a great game sesh on a gaming laptop. So if you're going to be plugged in, might as well get a desktop. So let's continue with a regular video now. Price. Price for a gaming laptop is ridiculous, especially for the power that you're getting. Uh, the top 10 best, the cheapest one is $800, and that is super reasonable, but it's not even that good. I mean, that's not going to be able to play AAA titles. That's going to be able to play World of War, like if you want to play Custom Zombies, what I'm doing right here, but you're probably going to get bored of that, and you're going to want to play a little bit more demanding games. So that one doesn't even count. Next up... We're already at $1,600 to $2,000 to $3,000. $3, and let me tell you what you get with $3,000, okay? This is the Asus uh, Republic of Gamers G751JY. Ridiculous name. Dumb names. I hate when companies name their products with a bunch of dashes. Like, I don't want to know its serial number. $3,000 you're getting. Not even a Skylake processor. It is i7. Um, 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is unnecessary, but a lot of people would be like, well, I'm trying to run all my things at one time. 16 is really good for right now. You will not need any more than 16. Just per personal preference, you guys could be running 100 apps, and I don't even know about it. Uh, and the kicker is you only get a GTX 980M. So sad, so sad. Still a great processor for a laptop, but... When you're talking about $3,000, do you realize what kind of gaming desktop you could have? And then you would have enough money left over to go and pick up that Dell Inspiron 15 that's $800. Like, ridiculous price for performance. You're, it's a bad, super bad deal to get a gaming laptop. Plus, some more cons, and this is a big one for me, they're all plastic and they just feel so cheap to the hand. They use the cheapest materials. And it's just this flimsy, you got that keyboard flex, and it's just, ugh, I just, I, I hate, I really do hate PC laptops. Um, and I think it kind of does show in this, but I'm trying to have the most unbiased view of this. And there's so many cons to getting a laptop. And I know there's going to be a lot of people here that's just mad as as can be right now you're just typing typing away in the comment section i'm watching you i see you you're typing backspace i'll show you backspace too so in my professional opinion and yes i can say professional opinion i would get a gaming desktop i would spend about a thousand five hundred on it like i said you have a two thousand dollar spending budget and then take maybe four, 400 bucks, 300 bucks, two, 250, 300, and get you just a laptop that you can tote around. You can go sit on the couch, watch a little bit of Netflix. You don't have to be bound inside of a gaming room or your bedroom. You don't have to be bound in front of a desktop. Get something you can be mobile with. You can take to school, type your notes. You can do all that good stuff, and you're still under the price of just getting a laptop and then you have two computers instead of one and I think that's a lot cooler than just having one computer so that's really my opinion now let me tell you guys what I have just so you know um, kind of where I'm coming from on this so my desktop is funny enough a thousand five hundred dollars and no I did not pick up like a two fifty three hundred dollar laptop I actually because I hate PC laptops with a passion I have not found a single PC laptop that I would deem acceptable so my laptop of choice is the MacBook Pro 15 inch 2015 the brand new the newest one out right now and it is so good I, I think it was about two thousand dollars so five hundred dollars more than my gaming desktop although my gaming desktop can play games whereas my Mac cannot it's not built for games but what it can do is edit videos like a champ I challenge any PC on the market to this MacBook Pro I guarantee you I will render faster, edit videos faster, edit 4K faster, export faster, all of the things faster because it's a Mac. And wait, there will be a PC versus Mac video, so don't type anything about PC versus Mac yet. Save that fuel for a video on a later date. So I just want to let you guys know 
Um, like I said, get a gaming desktop and then pick you up like a two hundred dollar, three hundred dollar laptop. And as you go throughout the years, you could start in. You could just put a new CPU and you know you start off with an i5. You can get an i7. Just make sure it's in the same line of family. You can get more RAM. You can get newer graphics cards. You can get beefier graphics cards. You can get beefier power supplies. You can do all of the works even you can just have massive amounts of storage you can have 50 terabytes if you wanted and if you outgrow your case unlike a laptop you can just buy a brand new case and you can keep expanding you know you can just you can keep going and I like the idea of that so hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think down below tell me your opinions if I need to do a part three I could and hopefully you guys enjoy this peace all right, going to add one more thing that I forgot to add the last time. If you are new here, do not forget to subscribe, like this video, share this video, let me know what you guys think down below. And if you like grips on your controller, you like being number one in Call of Duty or Battlefield or Battlefront or GTA, whatever you play, head to FatalGrips.com or whatever the link is. It's down in the description. Use code AWO for 10% off. It makes me look good because it's like, oh, yeah, man, he's getting people to view us and bring in that traffic. And it makes you guys look good because you're going to have the freshest controller on the market. I guarantee that. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Peace.